With COVID-19 cases continuing to rise here in North Carolina and elsewhere, people need an early warning that they're infected. Doctors say a device called the pulse oximeter can do just that. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprecia tests various kinds to see if they're reliable. Back in April, as the virus was raging, I reported doctors working ERs in New York City discovered there was a way to detect COVID-19 in its early stages of infection before you showed major symptoms. This disease is people's brains are working fine. Their oxygen levels have gone down to scary low levels, but it has happened slow enough that their body has accommodated it. He recommended daily testing with this device, an oximeter. There are literally hundreds of oximeters out there, ranging in price from $14 to $500. The question is, is a cheap one as effective as an expensive one? So we're going to put two of them to the test. This one here on the right is expensive. It retails for between $60 and $70. This one we purchased for $14 on sale. It retails for about $20. When you put your finger in the device, the light has to pass through your finger and the arteries which contain your blood. That blood has hemoglobins. The hemoglobin carries the oxygen. It also absorbs the light, so the more oxygenated your blood, the more light will be absorbed. That's then calculated as a percentage on the oximeter screen. So let's see how these guys work. I'll put my finger in this expensive one first. And of course, it takes a couple of seconds for it to actually read. And once it does, it'll give me an oxygen level as well as my pulse rate. Okay, I've got an oxygen level of 98, 99%. This is a constant sensor, so it's going to vary just slightly. Now let's try the less expensive one. And we'll take a look and see how that one works. And again, I've got an oxygen level of 97%. So when it comes to oximeters you place on your finger, it doesn't matter if you buy an inexpensive basic model or a high-end model. Both are acceptable and will get the job done. There are also oximeter apps you can get for your smartphone. Though they claim to work on the same principle of light passing through your finger, do not use them. They just aren't accurate. The Center for Evidence-Based Medicine says there's no evidence that any smartphone technology is accurate for measuring blood oxygen saturation for clinical use and that such technologies should not be trusted. Remember, oxygen levels vary from hour to hour and sometimes day to day. A reading of 95% or better is considered normal. A reading of 92% or lower is considered abnormal. And if you see your oxygen levels dropping over over a couple of days, you need to call your doctor to discuss the issue. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprayson.